Hello everyone, I am Philip Niron Nityanandan. My Brio ID is 2022994. I am doing an application based on RMA, which is capable of getting the feedback from the customer and analyze it and give it as a charge to the administrator. So here is the demonstration. This is the server GU1 of the application. From this server, the user can start the SAM server as well as the RMS server. So, and navigate to the server coding. This code segment is used to start the SAM server using the process. And also, this code segment is used to stop the server using these two process like stopping the Apache and MySQL separately. And also, this one is the very important code segment in this project. This one is RMA server coding. Here you can see the interface is creating an object using a client implementation and Registry is creating an object registry and locating the registry through the port number called 1099 and the server name is RMA server. So it's basically giving the RMA connection through this port. So from the server onward, we can navigate to the home. This is a home page where the user can interact to admin panel and the feedback panel so when the user click the admin panel it's asking to log in the virtual identity is required here the virtually identified person can enter into this system so if the person who doesn't have the account he or she can register by registering here the username is typed here, password is something like this. When passwords are mismatched, it's showing the error here. And the, I am giving the correct password with the correct length. So everything satisfies. So it's getting sign up. So after sign up, the user can log in into the system. So the new user is going to log in here. By logging, the admin can navigate to the admin panel. In this admin panel, there are two buttons which are performing to navigate question, crud, and the analysis part. These two functionalities are maintained by the administrator. So you can see when the mouse is hovered, the button UI is changed. The color and the border color and the foreground colors are changed, as well as the welcome is disappearing and the label is prompting here. This is come under the event driven programming of mouse enter and exit. So when the admin enter the question table, this is the question table, which is getting the data from the database and showing in the tabular format. When the user need to add, update and delete or clear the question, the user can perform here. For example, when the user click, the stuffs will change according to the clicks. So if the user doesn't want this question, he or she can delete the question and the question will be deleted as well as the addition and update and everything can be done. So here the question has been added. For that, here in the implementation, which the class which having the all the methods which are rely on the RMA server. So here you can see the registration of the user 
and the sign in all these stuffs are going through the RMS server so they are rely on the RMS server as well as the addition of the question update of the question as well as the delete of the questions are totally rely on the RMS server if the RMS server is doesn't turn off these functionalities will not work so as you can see when the when I navigate to the button segment from here it is looking for the RMA server is look up the RMA server if everything gets successful then only the question will add it as well as the update and delete and everything goes same here and the next part is analysis this analysis part also done by the administrator so when the administrator over the mouse above the question it will increase the font so this is also an event-driven programming when the administrator click the question it will analyze and show in the charts you can see charts like bar and pie chart here and basically this chart is dependent on both RMA server and the web API called quickchart.io you can see here a link URL HTTPS quickchart.io so this is basically dependent on a web based server so without internet connection there will not be an access to the particular method and also in the analysis button is rely on the RMA server so the RMA and the web API are crucial for the analysis part finally this is the only part which the customer can interact which is feedback so basically customer is giving the feedback here here you can see the consumer number is 21 that's like you can see here the maximum question the user is 20 so it is increased by one here so when the user click then only the next button will be shown so the validation for the radio button have been done here so and also these questions are retrieved, retrieved from the database after finishing everything it will go back to the home page so here you can see the code segment of this class here this is an auto increment id which is taking the maximum user id and showing and adding adding it by one and this is the loading of the question from the database and it's showing a uh, fetching in the labels and this one is getting the answer from the customer and it send it back to the user and also this client implementation is extend unicast remote object and implement interface so these extends and implements are object orientation concept in the inheritance so my project is fully satisfied the virtual identity interoperability even driven programming and object orientation thank you so much